Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm Derek Ray here on the commentary position, joined by Lee Dixon to help me describe all the action. And we have live Segunda División action coming right up for you. I'll tell you what, Lee, this ought to be special. Yeah, the talking is over, the game plans are set. Now it's up to the players to go out and earn their corn. There's nothing the managers can do once the first whistle goes. I think, Derek, we're in for a cracker. This is the lineup for the home team. It looks pretty orthodox, Lee. Yeah, I love this formation, 4-4-2. The two main strikers will stay close together. The full-backs will link up with the wide players. The two holding midfielders will sit in front of the centre-backs. Very solid look about this team. This is how the visitors will set up today. It does look as though they will mirror their opponents with a conventional 4-4-2 formation, Lee. Yeah, and when you go against a 4-4-2 and you're playing it yourself, you match up in midfield, and that's the important area. Sometimes when you play two midfield players, you can get outnumbered when a number 10 comes in between you, but it's not the case today. It's all about individuals against individuals. Who's going to come out on top? And so the battle commences. He's using his strength to good effect. Nicely cut out. Rodriguez. Herrera. Might be onto something with that ball. Not up a cul-de-sac in terms of the attack. Recordamos a los aficionados que los ganadores de la rifa de throw in it's going to be recoger su premio a la tienda. Enhorabuena. Senye. Matteo has it. And a chance to whip it in here. Mark Matteo. Wonderful tackle. Senye. Must be. Well, there's all types of goals, spectacular headers, overhead kicks. This is a simple one, but it still adds up to a goal on the score sheet. A chance to revisit the goal. So the match has restarted, 1-0 here. Pita. Now oh, there to intercept. Senye. What can they do from here? Possession lost. Herrera. Valentin. Looks promising this. Gerard Valentin. Christian Herrera. Takes it on. 
and the decision offside here Valentin Cristian Herrera Simple save really Senye Now counter attacking possibilities here Real danger. It looks promising. What can he do from here? Well, he's given it away. Manu Bereiro. Herrera. It's opening up for them. This could be the equaliser. Terrific block there. And it crossed the touchline, so a throw in here. Senye. Might be able to get in behind the defence. The referee has decided there will be just one minute of added time. Jallo. Well, the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. You've certainly got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Lee. Well, Derek, it certainly was a good 45 minutes from the lad. Obviously got the goal to give him the lead, but he's looked very, very lively as well. Really tense battle so far, and now the second half is underway. Seoane. Here's Peter. Rodriguez. Well, he's lost it. Moving the ball forward with purpose. Now he must favour the cross. Keeping the ball moving. Well, that is how to play advantage. Great opportunity. Great save following the close-range effort. Look how close he gets to the goalkeeper. It's a really, really good save in the end. And we'll play having stopped. A chance for the referee to go back and hand out the caution. Over it comes. Well, not the greatest pass. Easily intercepted. Seoane. Herrera. A really effective shielding under pressure. And winning it back. Senye. An effective ball. 
Went in strongly, decisively. Pita. On the ball, Barreiro. Rodriguez. Now potential danger. And a goal! Real excitement here. The equaliser. Well, it's good build-up, and there's one player standing in front of the goal, and it falls to him, and he's not going to miss from there. Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. Well, the earlier goal cancelled out. One apiece. Well, it's come down to the final 20 minutes here. Valentin. Cristian Herrera. Here's Seoane. Pita. Oh, a nice-looking pass. Well, the keeper had to concentrate. An opportunity to forge ahead from this corner situation. Substitution time it is here. He's driven in the corner. And he's headed it in! Well, here's the replay, and almost the whole of the defence is caught expecting the ball to the near post. And then it's a good heady finish, to be fair. Keeper, no chance. Lovely goal. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? A punto de entrar un jugador del Lugo a descansar a la banda con el 7 Cristian Herrera. Entrará en la cancha. Well, they've got to give just a little bit more. The fans are demanding it. They could get themselves back into this one. Well, on the attack, hunting for a late equaliser here. And just like that, they've lost possession. Pita. On the ball, Barreiro. Xavi Torres. Pass after pass, happy to just keep possession and frustrate their opponents. In the right place to cut out the pass. And five minutes to go. Mark Mateu. Will he play it in? This could square the game, but no, thanks to the goalkeeper. Opportunity not taken. Well, it's the last line of defence for a reason. The back four looking. And that is the end of the game. It goes into the history books as a home defeat. Lee, your thoughts?
Yeah, certainly not their best performance, was it? Just a little off the pace for me today. It's obviously a disappointing result, but it's key that they bounce back. They can't afford another repeat performance like this next time out. In the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Lee. Well, he's always a danger, isn't he? No more so when he grabbed that goal. He never disappoints me when I watch him. He's just too good, simple.